ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the man with the plan, Mr. T. This has nothing to do with politics. There's not a Democrat or Republican angle to anything I'm talking to you about. It's about us, people here in Stillwater, people here in Oklahoma, people here in the United States. It's our problem, and we have got to solve it. A million six hundred thousand people signed up with me, and I, if you haven't signed up with you, I, I, I'm seriously asking you to help me and to go on that website because we are very close to finally getting an energy plan for America. We have more natural gas than any country in the world. We have 2,000 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. In seven years, we will have that six and a half million diesel 18 wheelers will be over to natural gas. So it's, a, it's an abundant, it's 50% cleaner, it's a dollar a gallon cheaper, and it's ours. That is the key, it is ours. We're not going to be energy independent, but we're going to get ourselves in a spot where, where we are taking out that oil that is dangerous for us to be importing and go on natural gas. And we can do just about anything we want to with the natural gas. Now, I know here at the school we're, we're getting into the wind, and I know that I saw the uh, uh, natural gas car out here, the, the racer. Uh, so, uh, listen, there's, there's not going to be anybody that's going to be ahead of OSU. I'm very ecstatic that uh, Boone Pickens has been in Washington lobbying uh, for this. It's, it's really nice to actually have somebody who's just so real um, in our corner fighting for our renewable energy sources. I will definitely go on the website. I'm going to join his army. I'm going to try to support and um, promote his plan as much as possible. This is what he, he's willing to spend all of his wealth on is because, like he said, you know, this isn't going to be something that's benefiting him. It's benefiting the generations after this. And that kind of resonated with me being that I'm a college student. I'm one of the younger generations, and, and he's not doing this for himself. He's doing it for all of us so that, you know, we can have a higher standard of living and, and we, can, we can succeed in this country without having to face the crisis that awaits us if we don't do something about it.